Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Sure, I go sport climbing, I go trad climbing, I mountaineer, but at heart I am a boulderer. And that's why I was excited to receive and review the brand new Red Chili Sensor. Red Chili was first established over 25 years ago, but in recent years it's been acquired by Edelrid. And since then we've seen some interesting new designs and innovations coming out of Red Chili and into their shoes. The brand new Sensor is, as the name suggests, a sensitive shoe. And it's going to suit indoor climbers, comp climbers and perhaps some outdoor hardcore boulderers. Now all this is good because it's winter in the Alps, which means I've touched very little rock. I've mainly been in the gym. So before I tell you what I think of this shoe, here are the tech specs. The Red Chili Sensor is aggressively downturned with a high instep and severe asymmetry shape. It aims to be as sensitive as possible. And the sole has been designed with this in mind with Vibram XS Grip rubber. Red Chili pre-grind the rubber before attaching it to the sole and it goes from 4mm on the edge for durability to 1mm in the middle for sensitivity. This combined with a midsole which has been cut out under the rubber and you'll easily feel the volumes and holes that you're standing on. Although the shoe is soft, Red Chili have thought about heel rigidity and have placed midsole material through the heel. This bit of structure prevents the heel from rolling or slipping like it can do on other soft shoes. There is a special 50 degree shore molded toe patch, extra soft rubber for extra stickiness. Unique to the sensor are two slingshot rand style systems on the shoe. There's the traditional one that wraps around the back of the foot and heel, which helps with forward tension and keeps the shape. There's also a second, which you can't see round the front of the toes and down towards the bottom of the shoe towards the heel, again helping to maintain the shape. As you can hear, there's a lot of technology going on in this shoe, and that's good to hear, because in the past, Red Chili perhaps have made quite basic shoes, but now they've really stepped things up in terms of technical innovations. This is not a shoe for everyone, and it doesn't even try to be. It's not an all-rounder, it's firmly aimed at the bouldering side of the market. Because of that downturn, the softness, the sensitivity, of course, indoor climbers and comp climbers are going to enjoy that. And Red Chili themselves have pushed that as a feature of this shoe. But that doesn't mean it's not good at outdoors, it's just mainly aimed more at the indoor market. Let's talk about sizing. Usually I'm a UK roundabout size 9, but for this shoe I wanted to really downsize it, make it tight with no dead spots and my feet crimped up. And therefore, well I had two options. I had a UK 7.5, which I've been wearing, and a UK 8. Now having had the 7.5 on my feet for a while, it's just a tiny bit too painful. Perhaps fine if you're working super hard projects in the gym or for comps, but for me, I want a little bit of a looser fit, so I think I'm gonna take the UK size eight, which should fit my feet better. Remember that everyone's feet are different, and the shape of the shoe might affect you as well. That sweep, the curve you can see on it, isn't gonna work for everyone's feet. And according to Red Chili's own graphic, it's their narrowest shoe in the range. And therefore, if you've got wider, squarer feet, perhaps you might wanna go more towards your street shoe size or, or even a bit bigger, depending on your personal preference. One of the reasons that indoor shoes are softer is because of the holes that you use indoors. Often we see big volumes or smears, and especially in competitions, those volumes are really starting to be the most prevalent form of hold. So a soft shoe helps. Now Red Chili's four millimeters to one millimeter is a very interesting concept. In theory, the four millimeters on the edge should improve edging and durability. And as you get towards the midsole section of the foot where that cutaway is, that's where things get really soft. And you can feel it when you're walking or running on volumes. However, don't be tricked into thinking that four millimeters makes this a brilliant edging shoe. It's not really designed for that. It can do it, especially on holds where you sort of mold the rubber into the fit of that little nubbin. But for edging duties, magic wood or longer sport routes, this isn't going to suit most people. 
Although a futuristic 9A in a cave savage overhang, this could perhaps be pretty good. When things get overhanging, that's where the sensor really steps up. It's almost like an extension of your hand. Because of the softness, sensitivity, you can hook and claw above your head in order to go upwards. And to help with that are the advanced features on this shoe. That toe patch, absolutely fine. I know we're seeing a lot more shoes with the entire front section covered in rubber. Think the unparalleled souped up. But for most people, a toe patch of that size is going to be enough and it works absolutely fine. I was concerned with a soft shoe that the heel would be too floppy for me. But because they've added the material, they've got that round in, actually the heel feels pretty solid. I mean, you can even see that when I'm sort of moving it around. It doesn't flip and flop like it does on something like the Scarpa Furia Air, for example. That means that you can really crank on this heel and you don't need to worry about it rolling off the hold or just being too soft for its own good. As with any high-end shoe, its main disadvantage is because it's so specialised. This shoe is only going to suit certain types of climbers. And if you're watching this and you think, oh, that's me, then you're probably going to be interested in this model. But as you know, the price point tends to go up, especially on boulder shoes. This isn't cheap, but because of the extra durability and the quality of design within Red Chili and Edelred, this is going to last you a long time. And perhaps you can get a training shoe as well and keep this for the serious sends and competitions. As always, there are links down below to the Epic TV shop where you can check this shoe out. And let me know in the comments below what you think of the new Red Chili model. Do you want to wear it? Have you worn it? What's your opinion? Let us know and I'll see you soon.